everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and I'm a Canadian mom of four and today I am sharing a very different type of video with you. Um, today I am sharing a Timu haul with you. Um, usually I share like family vlogs and lunch videos and recipes and stuff like that but I recently jumped on the Timu bandwagon and I thought it would be fun to um, share with you what I bought. So these are my um, packages. Um, if you are not familiar with Timu, because I wasn't until um, recently when my husband told me about it and we placed this order, it's just an online retail company, I guess. Um, you know, you get the app on your phone and they sell a wide variety of items. They sell like kids' clothes, toys, trinkets, jewelry, um, household gadgets, and just a wide variety of things. You could surf that website for so long. Um, so anyway, um, me and Dave both went on the website, we both picked out things to order, and I just thought it would be fun to share my honest, um, you know, kind of opinion and thoughts of um, what I got. I did not open any of these. This is how they came, so they're all still sealed. I waited for them both to come so I could um, share it with you, but if the video ends up being too long, I may just um, do this in two separate videos, like a part one and a part two. Um, anyway, I didn't order like a bunch of just weird stuff just to do a video because I thought to do the video um, after I placed the order, but I did go through and I picked things that like I thought, um, you know, we could use in our house or things that our family could use. Um, actually, it all started because I needed birthday cards um, for the kids were going to a birthday party and um, I went on there looking for birthday cards. I was interested to see whether they sell like decent quality stuff or if it is just like kind of dollar store um, junk. So everything was 90% off and it was free shipping when we placed our order. And so um, I spent a total of, I should have got my total first. Um, one package came to $60.37. The kids are all coming in the house now. So this is a real life video here. So the kids are all home. They were outside playing. Um, so one package came to $60.37. And the other one came to $44.85. So anyway, I just thought it would be a fun little video to um, show you what I got in my package. And Dave got some stuff too, so it'll be kind of interesting to see um, what he thinks of his items as well. So I will start with um, this one here. This was the one that was $44.85. So this is how everything comes packaged. It seems like they just kind of um, shove it all in here and uh, tape it up. Okay, I can't even remember exactly what I ordered. Oh. Okay, so this was a cosmetics case that I ordered. Um, it does feel a little bit um, flimsy. How much was this? This was $3.98. So I thought I could use it in the bathroom for holding, you know, a little bit of makeup and not that I wear very much, but, um, or maybe Audrey could even use it for something, but it's definitely not made that well um but i'm sure i'll find some sort of a use for it for, so that was 398 um so far i'm not you know that impressed okay this was a sweater that i had ordered and the sweater this was 12.59 so this was like probably could be my most expensive item. I ordered this in an extra, extra large, which says is a size 14. So, oh, that doesn't look too bad. Be kind, I thought it would be like just a, um, a comfy sweater for wearing around the house. So, yeah, so it's, I ordered it bigger than normal because I thought that it might be made super small. But all this stuff, it was free shipping and um, I think free returns. So. so I'll have to try that on. But that's cute. And it seems um, like it seems like decent quality. We've got some stretch to it, so we'll have to see. That one's not too bad. Okay, this here is... This was a... Um, a pad that I had ordered for Daisy's bed. I don't know if you guys care about the price or not. This was $9.98. Okay, this one was a little expensive, a little bit more expensive too. 
I thought this might be um, just cozy. Daisy sleeps in her kennel at night, and she often goes in there in the day too. And they had these in small, medium, and large, and I went with the large uh, for Daisy's kennel. Oh, so that's not that big. But it, uh, but it's it's plush and it's um, it's cute with the little dog bones, but. I mean, if you had a, do a big dog, that is definitely not going to um, be very big for them. But it's it's plush and it'll be comfy for Daisy's kennel. Okay, here's some real life. Go ask Daddy to help you with your mittens. The kids are all outside and um, Emily came in too. I tried to help her. Okay. Did you? Thank you, Audrey. These are... Oh. These are little um, cord holders. They have a sticky thing on the back and you can stick them to the back of like, I don't know if you can see that or not. You stick them to the back of your um, appliance and you wrap the cord around it and then you stick the cord in there. So I'm, I'm going to put one like on the back of my mixer and on the back of another appliance. So I love you too, Audrey. These were $1.58. So I mean, if they don't, if I don't love them, it's only $1.58. So that's... That was what was in that package. <laughs> this is a little um, collapsible strainer. This was $1.58. I liked that it was collapsible. And then it's, I mean, it's not, it's not big, but it's definitely big enough to strain to if you were cleaning like some fruit or um, even draining like some spaghetti. You know, it's definitely not huge, but I do like that it's collapsible and it's got the hole so you could just kind of hang it on um, the door or your cupboard or something. So that's not bad. And that was $1.58 as well. So, so far, too, not, not too bad. I mean, I wasn't overly thrilled with that, but um, this was a hook. This was 88 cents. And it's a little hook that you push. Can you see that? And you stick it on like the side of your sink and you sit like, um, you know, your sponge or something like that on it. So that's good. And it's got a nice um, sticky back on it. Um, these were $6.18, so they were a little bit more expensive as well. But these are for your pot lids. So you stick them on your cupboard door. They have a sticky back. And you stick them on your door. And then your pot, whatever size your pot is, and then you stick your pot lid in it and it holds them up. So there's a set of one, two, three, a set of four. So that's a pretty good deal for, okay, they were 618, so they were, I mean, I say they were a little bit expensive, but expensive, relatively speaking, compared to, you know, the prices of the things on that website. So there's four of those, and I find my pot lids drive me crazy, so I thought um, they would be useful, and you just, you set, you know, put them however far apart you need for your pot lid, and um, then your lid just sits inside them so that they're not falling around in the cupboard, which mine always are. Okay. The kids are all looking at me because they weren't aware that I was doing a video. Oh, this year I was excited about. If you're bringing your baseball gloves outside, make sure you bring all that back in because we're getting a snowstorm, okay? okay? We're getting a snowstorm tomorrow night. The kids are just up here going out with um, baseball gloves and baseball bats. Um, I bought these. These I was excited for. Ben is taking piano lessons. And um, I've been wanting to learn piano too, and I saw these. And yeah, Ben's they're like they're cool, I Ben. Yeah. And they show you um, what the notes are on the keyboard. So I thought that would be helpful for both me and Ben to help us learn um, the notes. So they come in a section of three separate pieces, and um, so they tell you what note what key on the key what key on the keyboard what note it is as well as what the note looks like when it's written like on a staff if i'm explaining that right i hope you can see that so that's kind of cool ben seemed excited about that too piano note silicone strips and how much were they they were eight dollars and eight cents but when i saw those on there i am um, i was excited about those so that is it for that package and hopefully this video won't be too long but we'll go on to the next package. It's exciting, this feels like Christmas. 
So these are my birthday cards. So there's six cards in here. I think I'm going to say it now. Okay. Um, six birthday cards are just blank birthday cards, but when the kids are going to birthdays, birthday parties, I never seem to have any cards, and I've been looking um, at Walmart for cards, um, and they never seem to have them. So, a six piece of cards. Okay, I got two of these, it says. Okay, I'm doing a video on here, so. Okay. So, there's one pack of cards. So, there's, I think there's six cards in it. Oh, this is bigger than I expected. This is a, um, I'll open it. All right, I think the kids are all organized. I'm just going with an apple. She's blowing me a kiss here. Um, this, this right away has a very um, weird smell. Um, this is a brush for like cleaning your, um, your car vents. So getting all the dust, you know how it's hard. I was literally just cleaning my, um, I was wiping up my van a little bit yesterday while the kids were outside playing and I was trying to get the rag in the vents. And um, anyway, that's what this is for. You could use it for other things too though. This was 98 cents and that's a fair size. Like it's, you know, bigger than the palm of my hand. So I thought that would be good for cleaning my um, vents. What is this? Oh, this is Dave's. Okay, maybe I'll put his stuff here for a second. Okay. Oh yeah, this, okay, this is a magnet that I bought for the dishwasher because the kids, as well as Dave, I guess, never know if the dishwasher is clean or dirty. So I picked up this magnet, that's really cute. So the dry and the clean. So I can stick that on the dishwasher. That was, oh, that was a little bit more expensive too. That was $3.48, but I thought it was really cute and they had different fonts um, and I like this one, so. That's cute, I like that. What is this? I can't even remember what wash and dry stickers. Oh, okay. These are, I guess I'll open them. These are for um, my washer and dryer. Again, um, if I can get this open. Where's my knife? Um, sometimes I will ask the kids to go down and switch the laundry, um, put the clothes from the washer into the dryer. And sometimes they get confused because we have front load washers and dryer and we switch we we have moved them around we have switched them so because the doors used to open back to back and so i used to have to take the clothes from the washer and lift them over the over the doors and so dave switched them around so that they don't open like that now like they open like that if you know what i mean anyway long story short i can't get this out the kids um often forget which is the washer and which is the dryer so these, if I can ever get them open to show you, are, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not anyway. I don't think you're gonna be able to see them. Oh, they're cute. They're wash and dry labels. I don't know if you can see that at all or not. Maybe when I put them on my washer and dryer, I can show you, and it comes with instructions. Um, so I thought they're cute, and that'll give me some motivation to clean my laundry room. Mom, if you're watching, you know exactly what I mean. If we get something new, we always got to clean before we put it out. So anyway, they'll go on the door of my front load washer, wash and dry, and they have a similar pattern to the, um, the clean and dirty um, dishwasher magnet. So those are really cute. I like those. So far, I'm actually really liking everything. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, this was something that I had got for Audrey. And it has the little um, teeth on it. I thought that was cute. Oh, oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, so that seems like decent quality. The same quality as I, was, I would expect to get from like Walmart. Oh, I'm forgetting to tell you the prices. That was 89 cents. And the decals for the um, washer and dryer were two seventy eight for the decals. Um, okay. And the, I already told you the brush was ninety eight cents. Um, okay, this here was something else that I was kind of excited for. This is for cleaning your window, for cleaning like the groove of your windows. You know, in the spring this time of year when the windows get all dirty like in the um, in the track. So this is a little brush and it has a little tool here, I think. Yeah, so this, so it attaches. 
and so you can use this end to kind of, I guess, dig some of the dirt out and then you use the brush to, you know, get the dirt out and then you can wipe it up or vacuum it out. That was $1.98. Oh, this here, some of the things I, I, I scrolled through that site and saw so many things that I liked, um, but I didn't want to order just like junk, like I said, or just, you know, I wanted to make sure that I ordered useful things, but I was just really curious to see what their quality was, if it was half decent quality or is it just junk. This here is a burger patty maker. I mean, it's not heavy duty plastic or anything, but it's going to do the trick. It's not something that I would use every day, but you just put your meat in there and then mash it down and then your hamburgers are all the same size anytime i buy anything like this for my kitchen i always like look at the size i mean i know this is only small but i don't have a whole lot of space in my kitchen so right away i'm like where would i keep this type of thing um so this is only small and that'd be good for making homemade hamburgers and then they're all the same size so then you know they're all going to cook the same and that was um a dollar fifty eight Lots of goodies in here. Oh, this was cute too. Oh, I really like this. Okay. Oh, this is cute. So you can see what this is. I'm not going to say it out loud because um, this might, this will be for a little girl in this house. So it's very small. I mean, it's obviously for kids. There it is compared to the size of my hand. But that is super cute. Um, and that was 618 but I just thought that was really cute when I saw it on there and it has the adjustable handle so it can be made bigger and it'd be just just big enough to hold you know not very much but like a lip gloss or like a it's obviously not for adults and I really like the little tassels I think that's really cute all right what else is in here oh dear okay I bought this for Daisy, but I think I will save this for my mom, for her dog, because there's no way this will fit Daisy. Okay, so this was a, um, I don't think I'm going to open this because I'll probably save this for um, my mom and her dog. Um, so this was a size small, it's a glow-in-the-dark collar. So I'm not sure if the whole thing, it looks like the whole thing glows in the dark in the picture. Okay, I see there's a band here. Um, but this was a size small and Daisy is only a small dog. She's a Bichon and a Shih Tzu mix. And so this would be giant on her, but it, you know, it seems like maybe I will open it because I can slide it back in. I just want to see if it's, um, good quality with the, oh, okay. So there's a little thing in here. You pull the tag out to activate the glow in the dark. This has kind of an odd smell too. Okay, the kids came in from outside. They're all getting um, organized downstairs playing, but that's real life. I'm doing this when um, everybody's home and it's getting close to bedtime for Emily. So if you hear her crying, that's why she's getting tired. Um, anyway, this collar isn't bad. I mean, it's cute. I really like the color pink. I'm going to save that and give that to um, my mom for her dog. And that'd be cute for when she's um, walking her in the night. Let's see what's next. It's just like Christmas digging through here. Okay, I think that's something belonging to Dave, so I'm going to hold off on that. These, I actually ordered um, two of these. These are silicone, um, what would you call these? Um, like a funnel, yeah, a small funnel. And I really like how they collapse, so I can just stick them in the drawer. I thought this would be good for filling up spice jars, because every time I fill a spice jar, I'm always spilling it. So I thought it'd be good for that, and I'm sure there are other uses as well, but that was... The main one I had thought of. So that was 89 cents and I ordered two of those. So I got a blue one or a green one I mean and a pink one. So I won't open that one. Two of those. What else is in here? Okay there's my other pack of birthday cards and they're just blank but I thought they're perfect for um, kids birthdays. They were only a dollar something each. There's my two packs of birthday cards and they were a dollar 26 each. So that will be good for when the kids get invited to birthdays. I'm just throwing all my garbage on the floor there for now. Um, this is Dave's, this is a magnetizer. I'll put that aside for a second for him. Okay, these are 
10 piece kitchen towel set. I was intrigued by these. So there's 10 of these in here and they're like um, a microfiber. They're really soft. I thought that they would be good for um, dusting or like cleaning. I, I really like these type of rags for, um, for cleaning, but I hope the lighting isn't getting funny in here. It was, the lighting was really good when I um, started, but by the time I got everything and got organized, um, the sun is in a different spot now, but they're pink on one side and then there are a pretty um, teal on the other side. They're actually, they're really pretty. So there was a pack of 10. Okay, there's different colors too. There's purple and pink with purple on the other side and gray and green. Gray, gray on one side and green on the other. But they're a nice size for, you know, cleaning or dusting or, um, I like those. They were $3.58, and there's a pack of 10, so that was a really good deal. Oh, yeah, this here I was excited about too. So, um, this here is this was $4.68, and it is one of those, um, what would you call this? A car seat gap organizer. So, the gap between you know your gear shift and your seat, like where your seat belt is. You know how like stuff falls in there like french fries or money or your debit card anyway this sits in that little slot and it's supposed to catch all the stuff that falls so i was excited about that i ordered it in gray because the interior of my van is gray so and that seems like decent quality like it's um it seems like it will do the job so i'm happy with that jacob did, did you guys close the big door and i feel like i'm getting a draft make sure to put your garbage in the garbage okay this i thought was cute this was not something that i needed this was 239 it's a one piece sunflower ornament i'm gonna hang it in, on my rear view mirror um but it's a little sunflower or a daisy i suppose not a sunflower and it says god says you are um, strong precious unique lovely special forgiven chosen and strong we're back to strong and then it tells you all of the um, um, places in the Bible where you could find um, you know you are special is in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 um, you are you are lovely is found in Daniel chapter 3 uh, verse 3 I don't know why it's um, backwards like the dark side I don't know if you can see it or not but the dark side is backwards i'm assuming so that if you hang it up somewhere you can see it on on the back side i'm not really sure why it's like that but it's cute it's um like a hard plastic that was just a nice little reminder um to have when i'm in the van um i'm getting to the end oh these were some ankle bracelets that i ordered beaded ankle bracelets these were 242 i just thought these were cute these were definitely not a necessity i'll leave that open i just thought they might be cute for the summer it's a pack of four ankle bracelets different ones there so they i thought they were cute just for the summer i haven't worn an ankle bracelet in years like i said that wasn't a necessity or i'm sure you could wear it as a bracelet although it'd be a little bit big and how much did i say they were they were 242 so those are cute they seem you know like decent quality and i don't know what this is i have to open it and see it could be something that i ordered and it could be something that um, dave ordered so this was 508 so it's a solid um carpenter's pencil and my last item is more cleaning cloths and how much were these these ones were five of them for a dollar fifty eight. I think when I ordered these, I was thinking that I could, um, you know, share some of them. Now this one has kind of a funny picture on it. It has pots, so they're pretty well the same size as the other ones. Um, but they're really soft too. This one has um, like sea creatures, like fish, and um, I forget what those are called now. Little sea creatures, anyway. And then pots, <laughs> pots and pans on that side. Um, but I just thought these, 
you know, they're good for cleaning. They're good for dusting. The first thing I think of right away is to clean the dust off of my ceiling fan. So I'll probably share a couple of these with my mom. I didn't realize that they were all the same, kind of that ugly pattern, but that's okay. I'm only going to clean with them. But yeah, they're nice. They're nice and soft. And I think they make a really good duster because they will like hold all the dust. So that is that. And then these are Dave's items. So he ordered a magnetizer. That was 258. And he ordered a precision screwdriver set. How much was that? A 32 in one screwdriver set. This was 9.48, so I don't know. We'll see what he thinks of this. That's what it looks like. It's just a little precision screwdriver set. And then there's your your holder or whatever it's called. So I guess that seems okay for ten dollars. We'll see what he thinks. And what was this that he? Oh, this is a flexible grabber. This is a dollar. This was a dollar thirty nine. And. I forget what this is even for. I thought I ordered a, um, oh, <laughs> so that's the flexible grabber. I'll have to ask Dave what that's for. I don't know if it's the thing for putting down your, putting down your, um, your sink or if it's, okay, it's got little teeth on the end. I'll have to ask Dave, can you see the little, the little teeth when they come out? Or does it want to zoom in on me? See the little teeth? So Dave just got home from work. <laughs> not too long ago so oh, we'll get Dave's opinion on his items. Okay have a seat. So this is your demagnetizer mm -hmm. that we paid. Um, do you want to open it up and see if you like it? So the demagnetizer was 258 Do you know what this is? Not really no. For your drill bits? Oh uh, okay. So like if if you're in a tough spot you can just magnetize your drill bit or your uh, driver bit. Put a screw on it and it'll stay there while you. Oh, okay. And you can demagnetize it by running you on. Oh, that's cool. No, I had no idea. Okay, so I guess you'll have to test it out to see if it works. Yeah. Okay, this is your precision screwdriver set. <laughs> For $10, I'll let you open it. Although I don't know how well it actually is going to stay closed, but maybe I don't have it in the right. That was $9.98. So if it doesn't stay closed, I'm not sure if it's that great of quality, but... Well, maybe that's Oh, maybe that's why. It's just for working on small things. Knives. Glasses? Glasses. But no. Ben breaks his glasses? Or no? Yep. Does it seem like decent quality? For the price. And then what's this for again? Is this for the sink? No. Oh, it can be. It's just for grabbing things in a tight spot. Oh, I see. So like if I drop something in in my uh, forms, oh okay, I could grab it. Okay. We usually grab use a magnet. Oh, so this is what this was. So you're gonna take this in your truck? Maybe. <laughs> it's got the little teeth. I just showed the little teeth. We push on it, and oh, you're in the wreath. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, and I'll save the best for last. I forgot about this one. Pencil. Yeah. I think it's pretty nice. Try it out. Nice and sharp. Yeah, doesn't seem like anything wrong with it. That was um, five oh eight, so a little, a little. Does it come with lead? No. Extra lead? Not that I'm aware of. You can buy them. On the site, so. It's too late. This thing doesn't close. <laughs> oh, there we go. So not bad. Happy with your stuff? I think so. Okay. You can take your pencil to work. Yeah, actually, uh, one, of the, one of the guys was wondering if it was going to be any good. Oh, okay. If you buy them at, at Belmac, they're like $15. Okay, and that was how much did we say? Five? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good then. So, yeah. Dave will take that to work tomorrow and we'll see how the pencil, how the pencil um, fares out. <clears throat> So that is my order from Timu. So I, I am definitely happy with everything that I got. The only thing, if I had to pick, it's, it's funny that this was the first thing that I opened because this is the thing that I am the, 
probably, if I had to pick anything out that I was disappointed in, it would be this, just because it feels like a really cheap plastic and it's not very big. Um, but anyway, I'll try it out in the bathroom or even maybe in the, I don't know, I'll use it for something. Audrey could put some jewelry in it or, anyway, we'll find something for it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm pleased with everything. I'll try my sweater on and see. Um, I'll put Daisy's um, blanket in her kennel and um, I'll put my decals on the dryer and yeah, I'm excited. So that, but the total that I spent was $105.22. So I think um, I did pretty good. I think I would definitely order from there again. I'm gonna try my sweater on and see if that fits. But anyway, that is all that I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed um, watching this video. I enjoyed um, filming it. It was fun to open the packages. We ordered this stuff um a couple of weeks ago one came on march 17th today's march 23rd and the other one came yesterday so they didn't take too long to order everything was 90 percent off when we ordered and it was free shipping and i'm pretty sure it said free return so if i mean if i wasn't happy with anything i could return it anyway but i don't think i'm going to bother so anyway i hope you enjoyed seeing my timu haul and um thanks for watching if you're not subscribed um, please consider doing so and i'll see you next time